New leaks about the next Intel Lunar Lake CPU lineup have been released by a credible tech insider who claims that laptops under the Intel banner are due to undergo a huge redesign. Could this suggest that forthcoming laptops will undergo a generational shift, either in terms of performance or something altogether different? Let us find out in our video today. With a whisper of having a downright 50% performance boost over the previous generation Meteor Lake mobile processors. The Lunar Lake CPUs from Intel look to be as promising as ever as we approach their release date by the end of this year. If you remember the specs for the Lunar Lake sample were leaked back in February, which talked about and confirmed an 8-core, eight 8-thread eight configuration for the new MX platform. Four of these were the performance cores based on the Lion Cove micro architecture and whereas the rest were efficiency cores based on the SkyMont Micro architecture. Now, the new Lunar Lake MX processors for good reason are expected to utilize Battlemage XE2 LPG GPU cores, which will increase the overall performance on low-power laptops. And of course not to mention the new handheld gaming market, which as you're aware by now, is making a big impact. Imagine the likes of Legion Go or Steam Deck powered by Lunar Lake, and you have yourself a formula of power in a portable package according to a tech insider who goes by the name of Bionic Squash and Videocards.com, Lunar Lake from Intel will bring about a 50% performance boost when compared to Meteor Lake, even through the decrease of the overall core count from 12 to 8. According to Mr. Tindo Squash, Lunar Lake chips can tackle this feat in multi-threaded applications such as Cinebench 5.4.5 at 17 watts, 2 watts higher than Meteor Lake. However, the TDP for Lunar Lake is expected to go up to 30 watts which offers potential single and multi-core performance gains over their predecessor. If this leak comes to fruition, we can also expect 8 watts fan less power designs for Lunar Lake, which will likely be used in those ultra-thin laptops that are ideal for lightweight work such as browsing, school projects, social media browsing, or just consuming content in general. Now, with the idea that everything tastes better with a grain of salt, Intel did not yet confirm nor deny any of these. However, Mr. C. Squash's claim reinforces the previous leaks we had regarding this CPU and goes to show how the performance uplift on Lunar Lake will be a promising take for gaming on low-powered devices as well. Speaking of, don't get your hopes up too high as for people who use their laptops primarily for gaming. You might need to wait a bit longer for more details regarding low-powered versions of Intel's Battlemage XE2 GPUs in order to measure the performance of Lunar Lake in terms of raw gaming. Who knows, maybe laptops are making a comeback and you won't be shunned for carrying around that thing for gaming. As soon as Lunar Lake hits the market, hey one can hope, right? Expected to launch by the end of this year. Everything points to Intel Luna Lake ramping up its production and volumes by 2025. Also keep in mind how the Aero Lake CPUs will be released alongside Lunar Lake CPUs with more or less the same architecture. But focus on mid- and high-end hardware, notably gaming laptops, and might be a more solid option for the people who prefer their laptop to be capable of completing productivity tasks while being on the move. Regardless, what are your thoughts on the upcoming Lunar Lake chips and the 15th gen laptops in a nutshell? Do let us know, as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.